I mean, we're in one of those times, it's, it's baseball. Ups and downs. And you look to shorten the downs and lengthen the ups. And right now, we're in one of those downs. And we've got to work our way out. We got it right now, we've got to pull together as a club. And we've got to pull out of this thing. We've got, we've got to get some guys uh, picking each other up, getting the big hits. And, uh, but yeah, the, the beginning killed us today. Coach, why uh, Hector had trouble with his fastball command, obviously. It looked like he was throwing a lot of fastballs. What, what did you say as a former catcher? Um, why was he struggling? He struggled the last time out. thought maybe it was the rain delay, but... He got... He, he had trouble with the motion today, I believe. I believe he got really pumped up for this game, and he got pumped up to the point where he couldn't control it. He's young. Um, and I think... I think it affected his control. Um, I think that he was so jacked up that he was having trouble controlling what he was actually doing out there. So it's good to see that he's able to get jacked up. Now we just got to get him to be able to control that and pitch with the adrenaline and still be effective. Could you talk about uh, Albert Bowers to at bats where he hit, hit line shots, had a couple good quality at bats? I could talk about more than just the two today. Um, this kid's showing me that he can hit. Um, he's going to be a big part of our offense this year, I believe. Um, coming off the, his college season, if you've taken a look at his numbers, pretty impressive stuff. And uh, the thing that I really like about him is just his, calm, his calmness. He's never out of an at-bat. He, uh, he just has great hand-eye coordination. Fine barrel. Um, hit the one ball today, he got jammed, and he still got it all the way off the wall. So he's strong on top of it. But he has, he has easy pop. He doesn't have to swing hard. He finds barrel, and, the, and his, his swing mechanics allow him to really hit the ball hard. Um, but his two at-bats today, I mean, it's just picking up where he left off. You know, he's been hitting the ball very good for us lately. Can you tell us what happened with uh, Davey and Eric? Uh, Davey got, got stepped on. Um, he, got, he got a spike to the thumb. We don't think it's anything serious, but it split him open pretty good. He's just he, Yeah, he's just bleeding a little bit. He's fine. Um, He'll, he'll be a little bruised, but nothing nothing permanent, nothing nothing to worry about. And who else did you ask? Eric, your pitcher. I'm still waiting to hear what the what's going on with him. Um, obviously Was it his arm aside? Did he? Um, I, I'm not even sure. Okay. Um, Lee Lee took it over, and I haven't had time to talk with Lee. Okay. How's Mitchell? Mitchell Tolman. Uh, he's he's a little under weather weather today. Um, I think he ate something bad. He's. He, he's not feeling good. Uh, we just we we let him stay inside today. Um, he just he showed up this morning early and he was just not feeling good. So I think I think he ate something bad. Play with Ty Moore there in the ninth. Of, you know, one one out. It's like a shallow routine single there. Kid just turns it on and beats it in there to second. Never quit playing. Um, he didn't care what the score was and. That's what we're all about, and, and I'm hoping something like that can spark us. Um, you saw how it sparked the inning, um, and we need plays like that right now. Tried to do it the other night when, when the center fielder lobbed it in, uh, sent the runner. Um, Ty does it today when he takes the extra 90 that he really shouldn't take, but he should take because the guy's not paying attention to him. The guy took it for granted, and, and, and as these guys get more comfortable in this league, there's situations like that to take advantage of all the time. And it's good to see one of the new guys finally doing it. So hopefully he sparks something, uh, loved it, and, and hopefully he, he, he showed how we can do that. If we can start doing that earlier in the game and, and, and jumping out and continue to do it the whole game, then we'll be in a good spot. But, but loved it. He didn't quit. He didn't quit playing. Kind of going off of that, that that's not the first time this team has shown that they're never going to give up in the, even in the bottom of the ninth when they're down. Um, do you kind of see that as potential for this team to kind of build off of and hopefully get out of this slump? For sure. Um, it's always good to know you guys have a fight. Um, we've had a comeback win this year. Um, we've had a couple times where we tried to come back. We had a game we tied up and went 15 innings. Um, today we tried to come back. It was just too little too late. Um, but but at the same time, it's, it's really good to see um, the fight. Um, the not quitting. The, 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 the issue with us is now is how do we get that fight earlier on in the game? Um, how can we get comfortable from the first at bat, not our fourth at bat when it's too late? Um, sometimes it's easy to, 
to try and put those things together when you're down six runs. There's no pressure on you. But when it's 0-0 in the second inning, can we do it then and put up three?